so lmd in a different way and here we will see rmd in a different way getting the same expression okay so let's start so first we will start with this now e star a in the previous we start with e plus c okay so now as we are doing lmd that is leftmost derivation so here we will get e we will expand this e so we will get e plus e star e and then we can just expand it further so we will get this right and then after expanding this last e we will get this so that is the same expression we got but here we have used the leftmost derivation but we are getting it in a different way okay and similarly if we do that for rmd we can also get the same expression like this then we will expand this e plus e star id right so we are getting the same expression so why we are driving this uh, using lmd and rmd in a, to, in a in a different way because here we want to convey this message is that if we get more than one lmd or more than one rmd then we can say that grammar is ambiguous so the grammar was which we used the grammar was this right e plus e e star e and then this id right so this is the given grammar now we derived this expression we derived this expression using lmd and rmd but we got more than one lmd right and we, we got more than one rmd so so and we can also drive this string using parse tree so if we do that we can get something like this this is the parse tree so e we expanded e to e plus e right using this production then we can expand it further right here we'll get id here we will get id and id right and we can also uh, we can also get the same expression using this parse tree right so if you traverse if you traverse this parse tree you will get the same thing like id then pl plus operator then id then asterisk then id right similarly if you if you traverse this you will get the same expression so what i want to convey here is you can write it as a note either either we get more than either we get more than one lmd that means leftmost derivation or or rmd rightmost derivation or parse tree right here we are getting two parse trees right so either we get more than one lmd or rmd or parse tree then we can say that we can say that the grammar is ambiguous the grammar is ambiguous clear so this is the important point either we get more than one lmd or rmd or parse tree then we can say that the grammar is ambiguous okay clear so now if the grammar is ambiguous then parsers get confused about which one to generate and which one is right for example for example suppose we have the expression like this 2 plus 3 into 4 
right this is the expression and if we assign the values to here like 2 3 and 4 similarly 2 3 and 4 right so here we have seen that the grammar is ambiguous and if the grammar is ambiguous then parsers get confused about which one to generate and which one is right because if we calculate this if we calculate this the output will come out as 2 plus suppose uh, here 3 into 4 will be calculated first will be calculated first so 3 into 4 12 plus 2 we will get 14 here and here the output will be here 2 plus 3 will be calculated first right so 2 plus 3 5 5 into 4 20 so here we will get 20 as the output so if the grammar is ambiguous the parsers get confused about which one to generate first and which one is right because in both we are getting the different output so that's why we don't want our grammar to be ambiguous we always want our grammar grammar to be unambiguous clear now one question comes here is how to find out a grammar is ambiguous so there is no specific algorithm we just have to hit and try we have to hit and try we have to try like we if we can find more than one lmd or if we can find more than one rmd or if we can design more than one parse tree for the same expression then we can say that grammar is ambiguous so there is no specific algorithm we have to hit and try always okay now now let's see some more grammars and identify whether it is ambiguous or not Okay, suppose suppose the grammar given is this. Okay, so this you can also write it like this, like S is generating AS and it is also generating SA and it is also generating A. So you can write in both ways, right? Both are correct. Okay, now you now you have to check whether this grammar is ambiguous or not okay so let's try to generate a uh, string double a and let's try to find out if we get more than one parse tree or not so suppose if we write like this we used this production first production as then we can use a right so we are getting a a here and let's check if we get more than one parse tree if we use this one sa and if we expand this as single is so again we are getting a a right so there are more than one parse tree is therefore it is ambiguous it is ambiguous because there are more than one parse tree more than one parse tree clear Let's take one more example. So suppose this is given to you. A S B S B S A S epsilon. Okay. Now we have to find out whether the given grammar is ambiguous or not. So let's you have to think it, you have to hit and try basically. So just try to find out a string a b a b. Okay. So let's do that a s b s. Right. Now, now if we want to expand this, so we can write b s a s. Right. So we have generated a b a b, and we can just make it epsilon. So if we traverse this A, B, then A and then B, right? So if we traverse it, let me traverse it. We are getting A first, then B, because we have to see only the terminals, right? Now there is epsilon, so nothing is there. Then A again, and then epsilon, then B again, and epsilon, and finish. So we are getting A, B, A, B a b a b now see if we get uh, if we can get more uh, one more parse tree 
if we can generate one more parse tree that means for the same string okay for the same string that then that means uh, this grammar is ambiguous so let's try to do that so suppose we use a s b s right and suppose if we expand this and make it epsilon and if we expand this if we can take this right so we are getting a b a b we can just make it epsilon right because this is the given grammar now now if we traverse this if we traverse this one so we are getting a then epsilon that means nothing then b then again a and then b and done so we are getting a b a b so we are getting more than one parse tree for the same string right so it is ambiguous it is also ambiguous because we are getting more than one parse tree is it clear now let's take uh, one more example 